I'm going to be discussing today green thumbs for health and sustainability, addressing the obesity problem in Nauru. Some demographics of Nauru, it's the world's smallest island country and it's roughly 13 square miles. It's located in the South Pacific, just south of the Marshall Islands. The population consists of 9,951 people. Its natural resources consist of phosphates and fish. They have incredibly poor soil for crops and 90% of the land is waste due to overmining of phosphates. Nauru struggles financially due to limited export. Australia is the main supporter of Nauru. Some of Nauru's health statistics are that Nauru is the world's most obese island country with its population size. 71% of the population is obese. Nauru is the number one ranking country with the highest type 2 diabetes rate at 40%. In 2002, 78% of deaths in Nauru were due to non-communicable diseases with 44% from cardiovascular disease. 44.2% of Nauru's population is inactive. Infant mortality rate is 8 in 1,000 live births. And life expectancy for women is 70 and a half years. And for men, it's 63 years old. My innovation project idea is to bring, bring sustainable gardening to Nauru um, to build greenhouses on the unusable mined land and provide the communities with healthier food options. My funding plan, I'd first start by contacting the Australian government's health services and health officials to try to be able to find funding for the project. The healthier the population of Nauru, the less they have to loan them money for medical expenses. The second thing I would do is contact nonprofit agencies, health organizations, local and Australian businesses for a monetary or supply donation. Um, the third thing I would do would be apply for seed and soil donations, which are all over. Um, and the fourth thing is fundraise and network as much as possible. For getting started, um, since coconuts are the only crop they can grow in Nauru, figuring out sustainable ways to use the husks of the coconuts and leaves for materials like wood, rope, etc. Sustainability is key for this project. Nauru has very limited resources, therefore using recycled materials and importing some materials are their only option. Contacting engineers about volunteering their time to help build the greenhouses and a watering system for the greenhouses. Um, and of course, recruit as many volunteers from the community as possible. I would also discuss different incentive programs with the government and health officials to offer the new Rallians for helping and supporting this health initiative like free produce or vouchers to use to buy produce, a job working at the greenhouses, free seeds and soil for home gardens, free health coaches, and so on. Not only should there be health education, but also cooking classes, community fitness classes, and gardening classes for the members of the community. My long-term goals for, um, for this project is um, help the Nauru population gain access to healthy, attainable produce, um, educate the community on proper nutrition, sustainability, and how obesity can lead to other very serious diseases like hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, high cholesterol, heart attacks, strokes, and so on. Possibly bring jobs to Nauru because the natural phosphates will only last about another 30 years and those people will be out of jobs. Teaching the people of Nauru basic cooking and gardening skills to keep them on track for optimal health and sustainability. And the number one goal of the Green Thumbs for Health and Sustainability is to reduce the obesity rates and non-communicable disease death rates. And these are point and point, sustainable gardening, community involvement, program incentives, education, and prevention of obesity and non-communicable diseases.